Hi Robert, so here's the video for you. Um, I'll go all the way around the car just to start off with so you can see it from all angles and then I'll go up and close and show you anything that you need to know about. There's only a couple of tiny, tiny little things to show you anyway. So uh, it's a really nice straight car. Um, all the wheels are unmarked. The tyres are six mil on the back and five mil on the front. Bridgestone, the tens is all round, so all good on that front. And like I said, we'd do the MOT anyway, so that would be changed. Okay, so going up in close, you will find the odd stone chip on the front bumper, as you'd expect. However, obviously it's low mileage, so certainly nothing bad, but just, you know, the odd minor and tiny little chip. Nothing that will show up on the video, though. Bonnet's all nice. There's no dents on the leading edge where stones have come up or anything like that. It is drizzling out here, so you might see a little bit of water on the car. Passenger front wing is all good. Just here on the door, there is a tiny indentation, which you can just see. Passenger front wheel. All the way down the passenger side is absolutely fine. Nothing to show you there. Passenger rear wheel. Going round to the rear of the car, the rear bumper is all fine. Where things have been in there, so out of the boot, you might find the odd tiny sort of hairline mark like that one, but you know, minuscule. Stepping back, you certainly wouldn't see anything. Um, and the only real thing to show you is that there is a scratch here that's been touched in. It's with the correct paint, but you do see it. So um, I just want to make you aware of that. Really, that's the only thing I can fault the car on. Driver's rear wheel. All the way down the driver's side is all good, nothing to show you there. And driver's front wheel. No stone chips on the windscreen and the roof's all in good order. Interior-wise, there's nothing to point out. It's as you'd expect, it's in nice order. No scuffs on the backs of the seats or anything. It doesn't really look like it's had, had anyone sat in the back of it, to be honest. It's got rubber mats throughout, but it has got two carpet mats for the front and the boot if you wanted to change them over. The rubber mats are Audi rubber mats, so they are designed for the car. The cleaners have missed there, so apologies for that. Driver's seat bolster has got a couple of little imperfections on it, just part and parcel of someone getting in and out of it. And I'll just quickly start the car up. So these paddles have been fitted as an aftermarket just onto the normal paddles as you can see here they're like a stick on on the back. They are designed for the car, whether you want them on there or not is up to you, you can always take them off. I'm just going to pull forward so I'm not in the way of someone. You'll see the fuel lights on, but obviously uh, we talked about the fuel, so we'll, we'll fill that up for you anyway. Um, so, sat-nav screen is all good. There's no marks on any of that. All the way down through, the console is all perfect. There's no marks on any of the buttons, no wear or anything like that. It's all lovely. Gear stick's all nice. So all absolutely fine with regards to the servicing side of things i'll just check for you it's 
So it is due an oil change and inspection in 50 days time or 3,900 miles. So I would um, get our workshop to, to do the service for you as well. So it would have the MOT, the service, a full pre-delivery inspection and a full tank of fuel as discussed. So I think that concludes the video. I'll just show you the panoramic roof from the inside. And that's it. I'll speak to you soon.